In this video, I'm gonna show you one of the best ways to run the cover four quarters in terms of using it to shut down the bunch tight end offense in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody, and every day we post videos like this to help you become a better Madden player. I also wanna let you know that I actually have a Patreon membership where every single week we update it with our pro tips, weekly updates. We also have in there over 22 offensive and defensive eBooks. The formation we're we'll talking about today, the three through five wide, is completely broken down in depth in there in our ebook we've got the nickel normal we've got like i said over 22 offensive and defensive guides that you'll get immediate access to by joining the membership so if you want to sign up for that that'll be linked in the description below and today i wanted to do a video on just kind of explaining how match defense works specifically against bunch tight end because i think bunch tight end is one of the um just a little different in terms of just how the coverage or how the um formation works and so just want to kind of walk you through the principles of the match coverage so um, I've got the cover four show too I talked about this in an earlier video but this is cover four quarters it's not cover four drop and the reason you know that is because the zones the two zones that are pink they're not purple they're pink so if you look here you're gonna see a little bit of a purple type zone here you're gonna see a little bit of a pink type zone that's gonna indicate that it's cover four quarters um, even even in the uh, Mike Blitz 3, you can see they're a little bit lighter of a pink color, and then the cover 3 buzz are a little bit darker. That's basically your indicator because what the darker coverage is indicating is that they're in curl flats or something like that. Same thing with this cover 4, um, and so that's kind of how you know that this is a match defense. So, first things first, I want you to notice is whenever we against bunch tight end, whenever we on one of this, this guy moves. So what you want to do is you want to shake, kind of just wiggle him just a little bit, then audible to it, and it just helps with the with the tell. If there's not much, there's not much of a tell. Now, the next thing that I want to show you from an adjustments perspective is one of my favorite adjustments to do is to purple both linebackers and then to take this defender and put him on. A vertical hook now why would you say put him on a vertical hook well the reason I like the vertical hook is because sometimes not all the time but sometimes he will actually follow the cross or at least carry it to a place and then pass it off like he does right here and you'll see that this plays pretty well now what we're getting in match is we're getting what's called a box check to the bunch side so if you look on the left we're gonna get a box basically a box check. So essentially what that boils down to is this defender is going to be playing, you know, kind of anything inside and carry crossing routes like drags and stuff like that. This guy is going to be playing any flat routes or outside breaking little outs. If there are no out routes, he'll carry a little bit to the inside. This defender is playing anything outside in deeps so like a deep corner. And then this guy is playing anything deep and inside. So like a deep cross or a deep post. Okay. So that's kind of the basic format for how that works. Now on the back side, we're getting kind of an interesting uh, check with the tight end. So if the tight end was, for example, to go, let's say that the tight end was, let's say they did a route combination, you know, that kind of looks like this. Then this outside quarter on the right, Jair Alexander right here, he would take that tight end so you'll see right here he'll take the tight end to the outside and it plays really well where this can become interesting is if the tight end goes on a crossing route so let's say the tight end goes on a drag and just to illustrate this we'll kind of do a basic route combo like this what you'll see is the coverage will change a little bit and so instead of Jair Alexander covering him, what you'll see is that this drag gets cut by the safety and he runs all the way across the formation. This basically is a is a, a principle from trips tied in, essentially. And so where this can be kind of interesting from a defensive perspective is, let's say for example, this is something very popular, you'll see if anyone that you play one is bunch tied in, They'll run this play, but they'll put the tight end on a post. And then maybe they put this guy on a flat. And they'll run the slant post concept from trips tight end, but they'll run it from this. And what you'll notice 
is this kind of can bug out the coverage. Now, the one thing that's a little bit different against bunch tight end that is advantageous is notice how that outside corner, because there's nobody to cover to the outside, he does his job and he takes away this tight end post. So I'll show it to you again. So literally we're just gonna flat Godwin and we have a little slant post concept. And what you'll see is this post gets covered right there, in a little tight pocket. And this is actually the responsibility of the three rec hook. And uh, just kind of interesting how the outside quarter, um, you know, doesn't follow him across if he's on a vertical route. He only takes him up and out. So that means that this guy on the right, the safety, is kind of a cover uh, a cover player that we can utilize. Okay, we can take advantage of, or he can help us with certain things. So one of my favorite adjustments with with Douglas is to um, put him on an inside third, or just leave him on his inside quarter. And the reasoning is because if you get a you know deep skinny post, now this inside third is going to roll to it a little bit better. And you see that the post is taken away. Now you still have your matching principles, so you have a guy on that anyway. But that's a, a simple adjustment. Now again, another thing that we can do from this coverage that I really like, and this is why I like to put the two curl flats on the field, because they're going to fan out a little bit better than the quarter flats will. And the vertical hook is completely optional. You don't have to do that, okay? But if you want to, you certainly can but now what you'll see here is we have an underneath defender on the left and then i like to take this defensive end and put him in a three rec so the way you do that is by bluff blitzing him you want to spread your line to do that or just shift them um, i think that's very helpful and then you're going to stand there so you can shoot the run but let's talk about this real quick from uh, coverage bombs so one of the best coverage bombs in the game is this well what you'll see is that this three rec will guard the running back fairly well uh, later on in the play. And you see here that that's kind of a way that we can essentially help out with this coverage bomb. So let me show you one last time here. So again, we're gonna purple both our linebackers. We've got an inside third there for the deep post. And then we've got a three rake over here. And I like a vertical hook. If you don't wanna put a vertical hook, I'll give you one more thing you can do in just a second. And I've talked about it before on the channel. But just something simple like this is really effective because it gives that defender time to get back on the ball. And so you see we're going to get a catch tackle. If I click on, that could potentially be an interception. Now, the other thing is, let's say that you don't, you know, you don't want to do that. That's fine. You don't have to. Okay. What you can do is you can also take this guy, Sullivan, and you could man him up. Or you could curl flat him and man black up on circle and i found that that can be very helpful for defending this formation just from a, a safety net perspective just kind of keeps everything in front of you and the coverage bombs aren't as good and you'll see right here what i'm talking about you'll see the match coverage play this really well over the top okay so that's bunch tight end and the other beauty of this is one of the main other routes from this formation is something that looks kind of like this and this formation does a really good job of matching on to it, especially, like I said, you know, whenever you take that defender and put him in man coverage on the circle receiver, if you watch here, you'll see that this outside quarter really does a good job at taking away the corner. So you don't have to worry about the corner on the left. You don't have to worry about the deep crosser on the right. Um, and you don't have to worry about the deep post. So to me, this is one of the better coverages for bunch tight ends. Takes away a lot of what they like to do, and you're gonna be able to keep everything in front of you. Remember, remember, please remember that you want to make sure that you've got either a vert hook over here to press this defender, or you have man to man just to help with this deep post bomb. And of course, if you see this, like if it's if it's obvious they're running the ball, you should go to it. And I'll show it to you um, real quick here. So if I see the bomb, I should go to it, right? Because I've got everything else covered pretty well. But take a look here. You'll see this plays it fairly well. 
Okay, especially if you have a fast corner. So he does get a, an immediate step on him. There is a way to fix that. We talked about that in the membership to kind of keep that from happening. Another little thing you can do is man this guy up on the or the outside receiver just to kind of help with the coverage a little bit. But my personal recommendation would be purple both of these guys. And then you want to, if you see the bomb, you have everything underneath covered. You don't have to cover underneath, right? So then, you know, then just go to the bomb. There's no reason to cover underneath because you have man coverage on this guy here. You have this, you know, and that's all. It's more of a man on man ability than anything else. But anyways, that is cover four quarters. If you want to learn more about the defense, there's a link in the description below. And uh, you can go get our Patreon where you can get access to all of our eBooks and all of our updates. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.